Okay, in this segment, we just, in the last one, we introduced the MS-2000, the mini stretcher, uh, explained the, the function and the use. It likes to work in medium-sized areas. And now we're going to move into the, to the uh, junior power stretcher, the JPS-2000. That's the big boy. That's for the heavy-duty stuff. Same thing with this one. The balance is pretty good. The cylinder's bigger. The head's concave back so that when you're doing your 15 degrees, it doesn't uh, catch on your, your front teeth, don't catch on the smooth edge. And this is the power unit. So it's a must to have the the air regulator, the remote air regulator on there. Same thing, leave the compressor up at its max. If, if you have a compressor that runs at 125 pounds, for most, for most uh, applications, 125 pounds is more than you need. You get into big ones, well, you might want 150 and then you can take what you want from there because they like to run at 130, 120, 140. Actually, I don't think we've ever had any of these up past 140. Same thing here, it's speed control for your head. Dump valve for your cylinder. Uh, your exhaust port is on the side, the same as all the rest of them. Height adjustment here for your head coming out of the carpet. That's, a, that's, that's quite a travel there. You don't need all that. You can tighten that right in. Now this one's got the big head, the big power. So it stretches an awful lot of material. Now that's at 40 pounds. Same thing, lots of room to... Oh. 60 pounds. And that's 3-inch travel also. So you definitely don't need that kind of travel on, on smaller areas. But this, this one, the travel spacer, is it spring-loaded unit. You just push it down and now that's your only goes to two inches. Now it'll travel two inches. Let's take that up a bit more until it hits the end. That's 80 pounds. There, it's hit the end of its... that's as far as it should go. That's a two inch... that's a two inch stretch. So, And it'll hold it there for you. If you're tucking or just using it to straighten a bow, it will, it will wait there. Now, we should maybe mention we're getting up in power. We're pulling off the smooth edge. So we should mention that the smooth edge, in this case here, we just put them in with screws so we can take them off. But on normal installations for our smooth edge, we will uh, we use our staple gun. We've got the air on the job, so we staple the smooth edge. Standard smooth edge with no nails in it, no pre-nails. And we staple it in. That's on wood. On concrete, on the smaller jobs, we've got the air T-pinners. So we'll just, we'll just nail in the standard smooth edge with the air guns. And on the larger jobs, we'll, uh, we'll use Chemrex or Peel Supreme to glue them down and then and then uh, fasten them also with the with the t the little t-nails. They work really good. Even on the big ones with, with these with the high pressure we're using, yeah, we never pull smooth edge. So it, that's really not an issue. And it it does your 15 degrees. You can 
actually work your carpet in the different directions. They're not, these aren't like a pole stretcher. They don't require an awful lot of 15 degree work. They, they like a straight pull better, but if, if you need it, like I say, to position help pull it over to one side or the other, to line it up, you can use that, but they generally like the, the, straight, the straight stretch. And like a pole stretcher, you don't have to, you're not positioning your poles and trying to get three or four stretches out of one pole setting. These, these just move so easy. And that's and these ones will go to 1160 pounds push and I'm told by the one of the mills that, that the, uh, their tests have shown that the pole stretchers will produce around 1200 pounds push so these are these are right in line with the pole stretchers for power but they're so user friendly compared to those other ones. And the air is doing the work for you. Even on the heavy, the heavy pulling, the air does all the work. Yeah.